All right, well, I hope this intro works, because my bike doesn't. What's it like having a bike, everyone? What is going on? This video is sponsored by Will, my best friend. One, because the 636 is uh, AFK and broken right now. Cannot get the stator cover to seal on her. So, we're taking out this bad boy today. I'm hyped. I haven't rode this in a while, actually. Um, runs beautifully. 2003 500. Used to be my girls. Now it's Will's. Excellent bike. Great starter bike. A little on the heavier side, you know, but uh, cosmetically dope. Classic look. It's going to be great. We're going to walk around town. This video was... Um, just more to update everyone that I'm leaving for a road trip in two weeks. Uh, my bike has not been running for like three weeks now. <laughs> Having issues with it shutting off. Um, can't figure out what it was. We did the state on the wreck. Um, still, still cutting out on me. Um, so I'm going to do spark plugs, coils, maybe mess with the ECU or the power commander and go that way and stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to go from there, talk about it see what's going on and uh, just start out. Yeah, so we're gonna go on this, drive around for a little bit, fill her up and uh, go from there. I love this little bike, feels weird. Uh, I'm sitting up on it and it's lowered. I'm like, I could squat this thing. It is so low to the ground. It's lower than my bike. Kickstand's a little awkward too. Definitely don't know what they were thinking when they were doing that, but Really fun bike, good starter. Let's get it going. Um, obviously, you guys know aftermarket Delcomic, beautiful exhaust. So we're gonna get after it now. Kind of got that deep, deep, deep sound, you know. Let's get it though. I'm stoked. Oh, I'm already in first, Colin. See the goose. I don't even know where I am. This used to be uh, anytime, anytime. Answer is fitness. That's what it used to be. And uh, yeah, pretty chill. Happy Mother's Day to the moms out there. Um, ooh, a wide turn there, eh, bud? Um, yeah, Mother's Day. Holy shit, where the fuck's May going? I am just, like, stoked to get out of here for my road trip. I was hoping to figure out my bike um, before then, but uh, push come to shove. It obviously has not been figured out because I would be on it right now if it was. I don't know why I wore a switch. I am sweating my fucking balls off, dude. Holy shit. Come closer, lady. Yeah, woo! Maybe you got the sensor going. Hell yeah, yeah, let's go. Wah. You're intelligent. Running that light. Idiot. <laughs> uh, I feel like the drivers lately have just been more terrible at anything than they normally are. So that's also a uh, forbidden fruit of being on this fucking tiniest bike. You know? Oh, it feels so weird, dude. You can like really whip this thing. These tires are nice too. I don't know if they're warmed up, but I do like this little thing, dude. It's nice. Good starter. Get yourself a 500. Cheap, fun, and they get you to like get used to like a heavier bike, you know? And uh, I mean, it, it does everything. It accelerates. Beautiful bike. How is it almost summer though, dude? So yeah, I mean, that's that's my plan. I uh, Getting out of here. Works work. Getting that bike figured out is a absolute nightmare. Cannot figure out what is wrong with it. And just taking it day by day, you know? One day at a time, one problem at a time. Very, very infuriating. But um, I guess that's the name of the game, you know? I hope everyone else is doing well. It's almost summer, you know? And, uh, you know, we're just rolling with it. Who knows what's gonna happen? I'm actually moving into an apartment when I come back from the road trip with my girlfriend for a little bit. We're subletting a little place, so that should be cool. Getting off a little comfy exit. I'm like, this thing's fucking smooth as hell, dude! It's so beautiful! I can't... I love this bike, dude! It's boring as fuck, but I love it! It's smooth. Just fucking whack, you know? Enough power for you to learn, but not enough to kill yourself. Always compliment on these. They're actually kind of probably being rare right now, but who knows? But power bands like now on this, yeah, pretty much that. It's like the 650, just not as torquey. It's just cool, you know. Pretty chill. Ooh, Jesus, dude, come on, relax. I haven't rode in like two weeks. I'm like, oh, I'm a little rusty right now. Lean. Oh, I'm gonna scrape the peg. Dude, I forgot this thing's fucking low. You should raise this up. This is apparently stock height. There's no way it's a stock height, dude. If this is stock height, we live in a world of fucking the munchkin. The, what are the things from Willy Wonka? Oompa Loompas? Is that what they're called? If this is stock height, this is might be stock height for an Oompa Loompa. 
That's what I'm convinced. I feel like I don't want to. I don't want to scrape the fucking side on this thing. But you can like throw this thing around, dude. You know, like oh, it's so cool. Yeah, go to see my buddy Tim. He has a 250. He has a Moto Gucci, and then he has an old Honda Goldwing. So I don't know what he's doing with that, but we'll see. Uh, it feels good to be back out. That was very smooth. Giving him the full fucking rundown of this thing. Although his clutch was like here and I was bashing my fucking finger on it. So I had to move it out a little bit. I was like, dude, I got long ass fingers, dude. You know what they say about big fingers, everyone? Big gloves. Big fucking hands to fill. Literally. <laughs> right? What's up, dude? Um, I don't even know what that was. This looks like a fucking moped on steroids. You guys ever get like cuts in like the corner of your like mouth? Like right where the lips are have like a zit there I think and it's it's the most painful thing in the world and it, it's so annoying it's like really where the lips are and every time I move my mouth and it hurts like hell and I tried popping it and it came back and I was like fuck dude dude fix the clutch oh my god I gotta move this again my fingers are too long dude is that good oh shit oh <laughs> Don't do that, because you'll shoot the wheel up on any other bike. Nah, it's like a serious ass question. Sometimes if it's been a little bit and I go to ride, I'll have like five or ten brain farts, contemplate my existence, and like then, well then I'll realize I made a mistake. Also, in the 24 years I've been alive and in this neighborhood, I've never seen a car pull out of that driver right there, ever. And I've probably driven this road more times than you can even count. And I've never seen a car pull out from that way. A little nerd thing going on, but it's pretty cool. Oh, my allergies are already bugging me and now this fuzzy mic is dipping its fucking thing into my face, which is not good at all. Whew, whew, this bike. Fuck. Stuck in my face. Anyways, I'm warning you all now, there's not gonna be a moto vlog out for like a month, starting in June. Because yours truly will be gone. And if my bike is not running, then I will not have one to be made. You know? So, uh, yeah. But I'm going to get some travel videos going. I'm so, kind of excited. I'm also terrified and like nervous to make travel videos again. But I have to get into that old comfort zone. Well, I have to get out of that old comfort it. Blah, 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 blah. Get out of my comfort zone. Go back into my old zone. You know? Oh, it's so wet. Oh! Oh, shit. All right, so this is with the Tims. We're heading back now. Look at these colors, these nice spring colors. Nice and green, hell yeah. Let's gonna take the back roads back. Um, been gone for a little bit longer than I would like have liked to have been, but whatever, dude, you know? So yeah, we're going back now. Um, that was cool. We just, Tim and I were just shooting the shit. Haven't seen him in a while. Uh, we were also talking about what the else could be fucking wrong with my bike. And he was like, oh, I could also be the power commander on the grounds. And I was like, yeah, I mean, he definitely could do that. So I guess he's done grounds on one of his older cars. Uh, not older, but he's, well, kind of older. In the early 2000s. He's a Mustang. And he said he's done the grounds for like that and like tested them and stuff. Um, this thing's been like jiggling. Look, ready? Look at it. See it? What the fuck is going on with that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Not lined up properly, right? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on with that, dude. Anyways, going back to Will's, he wants to recreate a picture. I guess when he was like six, he used to have this uh, little bike. And uh, he wants to go to his old house and take a picture of himself on the bike. Woo! So we're doing that. Um, then I'm going to head home. I do have to go to the gym. And uh, my bike, I have to go put it back in the garage because it's sitting there drying right now. And uh, I know those seals are like, oh, they're good after like two hours. Most like silicon shits are Permatex ones, but we're gonna wait like a day and then we're gonna turn it on and see if it's still leaking. And uh, fingers crossed that it's not everyone. Fingers crossed. All right, well, there's your gas. Thanks for letting me use your bike, man. Much appreciated, dude. Hopefully it gave you some gas. <laughs> All right, let's go. Back roads to Will. Down and down narrow. Oh man, alright, well that was a nice ride. It's good to try out new bikes, you know? Oh, old ones forever. Coming around and doing that. Fucking cops out today, like a motherfucker. That's like the fourth one I've seen, dude! Things wavy, dude. 
I think I could just scrape my fucking foot on the ground, dude, if I really wanted to. Do you drag these? Nah, dude, I drag. My head's so itchy. Oh, I have nightmares from high school, and that's fucking cemetery. That's where we used to run cross country workouts, and it was fucking awful. Oh, I had some of the best workouts in my life there, but also some of the fucking. They sucked, dude. Those things sucked. I think like my toe is permanently fucked, squared off cartilage from stress, bunch of stress fractures, knee shit. But I never regret doing it. Guys, it gave me a ton of mental strength and you can really fucking push yourself in times of desperation. You can push your body beyond its limits, which is fucking cool, you know? That is my word of wisdom. <laughs> Look at all the pollen, you see how dusty that is? That's gross. Alright everyone, well that was kind of a short vlog, just kind of updating you all on uh, the situation with yours truly and the bike and my future endeavors so uh that's kind of it oh look at this tennis ball <laughs> yeah so anyways that's it what's going on me um yeah i hope everyone's doing well and um i don't know when the next one will be but i'll upload a few old ones i have they're not the best the camera settings are a little bit different because they're from uh obviously older videos from like March so but I uh, will see see what's going on uh, and hopefully get the baby back on the road dude and uh you know if we can do it before uh, I leave that'd be so cool if not it is what it is so all right everyone well uh thank you for watching I love all of you and um, as always if you did enjoy this video send a little thumbs up subscribe to the channel trickle the bells Follow my socials, they're all in the link tree in the description below. I love all of you and um, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. You know, just remember that you would never be here without your mom. So, it's pretty cool, you know. I don't know if this will be uploaded probably during the week of Mother's Day, but who knows. Who knows what we're doing, everyone. So, as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for all the love and support. I'm so excited for this trip. And I'm so excited to give you guys some sweet photos, some different content. And this summer season is going to be so sick. Well, that's it for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Here you go, little one. Zombies, but not now. Alright, I'm done. Blink.